asking about a, a, a traditional two-port group delay. And, you know, it's defined as the rate of change of transmission phase angle with respect to frequency. You know, and here's the, the corresponding equation. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, and I guess as I looked at this, you know, this, this definition doesn't, it just restates the equation. It doesn't really um, give me too much information on, on what it actually means. So if we, you know, do a little bit more digging, we found some other information here that says antenna group delay is a measure of phase distortion. You know, so that certainly sounds relevant for antenna designers. You know, phase distortion sounds like a bad thing. You know, I, I guess um, thinking about some of the advancements or the, the, the increased usage of ultra wideband applications, you know, there's, there's wider channels um, and therefore you need to be paying attention to group delay over that entire channel. Whereas before this metric wasn't as of much interest, you know, if you were just thinking of Wi-Fi at 2.4 gigahertz, you know, it's a narrow channel, it's, you know, minimal phase distortion across that channel. Um, and so this would explain at least why it's antenna group delay is, is becoming more prevalent in, in wider band applications. So if we go on, we can say that antenna group delay or just group delay in general is the actual transit time of a signal through a device under test as a function of frequency. The group delay is a result that XF has had for you know, 15, 20 years. The group delay itself is not new to us. Um, and so we have group delay as a result that's available in XF.